good morning students welcome to the class we are doing chapter 4 of sociology class 12 and the name of the chapter is the market as a social institution in today's session we will cover colonialism and the emergence of new market understanding capitalism as a social system and commodification and consumption so let us start colonialism and the emergence of new market the advent of colonialism in india produced major upheavals in the economy causing disruption in production trade and agriculture a well known example is the demise of the handloom industry due to the flooding of the market with cheap manufactured textile from england before the establishment of the british rule India was a major supplier of manufactured goods to the world market. After colonization, India became a source of raw material and agriculture products and a consumer of manufactured goods, both largely for the benefit of industrializing England. At the same time, new group, especially the Europeans, entered into trade and business. First, they made alliances with the existing merchant communities and later on threw them out still did not, this did not affect the centuries old economic institution on the contrary it provided new opportunities to some merchant communities which were able to improve their position by reorienting themselves to changing economic circumstances In some cases new communities emerge to take advantage of the economic opportunities provided by colonialism and they continued to hold economic power even after independence Next we have understanding capitalism as a social system Karl Marx is one of the founder of modern sociology he was a critic of modern capitalism Marx understood capitalism as a system of commodity production or production for the market through the use of wage labor according to him all economic system are also social system each mode of production consists of particular relation of production which in turn give rise to a specific class structure he emphasized that the economy does not consist of things but is made up of relation between people who are connected to one another through the process of production the system of production give rise to two basic classes capitalist who own the mean of production such as factories and workers who sell their labor to the capitalist The capitalist class is able to profit from this system by paying the worker less than the value of what they actually produce and so extracting surplus value from their labor. So, let us understand the process of commodification and consumption. First, commodification. The growth of capitalism around the world has meant the extension of market into places and sphere of life that were previously untouched by this system commodification occur when thing that were earlier not traded in the market become commodities for example labor or skills become thing that can be bought and sold the commodification of labor is one example but there are many other example in contemporary society For example there is a controversy about the sale of kidney by the poor to cater the rich patient who need kidney transplant In earlier times human being themselves were bought and sold as slaves but today it is considered immoral to treat people as commodities but in modern society almost everyone accept the idea that a person's labor can be bought or that other services or skills can be provided in exchange for money in contemporary india we can observe that things or processes that earlier were not part of market exchange become commodities for example traditionally marriages were arranged by families 
but now there are professionals marriage bureaus and website that help people to find brides and grooms for a fee thus almost everything have been commodified in other word you can buy anything with money be it a talent conduct skill or style next we have consumption the second major characteristic of capitalist society is consumption consumption creates and regulates the quality quantity and nature of social differentiation in modern societies the consumer convey a message about his or her social economic status or cultural preferences by buying and displaying certain goods and companies try to sell their goods by appealing to symbol of status or culture think of an advertisement that we see every day on television and roadside hoardings and the meaning that advertiser try to attract to consumer good in order to sell their product weber also wrote about how classes and status groups are differentiated on the basis of their lifestyle consumption is one aspect of lifestyle but it also include the way you decorate your home and the way you dress your layer activities and many other aspect of daily life that's it with your today's session in tomorrow session we will study about globalization interlinking of local regional national markets and about the process of liberalization till then take care goodbye